is a busy day and it will start off this entire week that will be super busy because not only will I have to tackle a lot of things I have to do for starting up the business and everything, but I also will be traveling. So I'm gonna get straight into my day right now. Okay, so it's mail time. I got some packages that came in and I need to open them because I need them to prepare for my trip or to take on my trip. So, here we go. This is a box full of hair dye because I'm sure you notice all of my gray hairs. I've been having gray hairs since I was 16, 17. And so I have to dye my hair like Billy. I haven't done it in a while because I ran out. So I stocked up because these were on sale. I am actually going to Seattle this week for an interview and um, the dress code is super casual. I was actually encouraged to wear jeans, which I actually might still do, but I was feeling a little uncomfortable about doing that. So I bought some like dressy but not dressy pants um, from this company Beta Brand and I bought two sizes so I wasn't sure because they're so stretchy. So I'm going to try these on and see if I should. Um, wear them or not, if they fit, I'm going to take them in my suitcase just in case. So, now on to the other things that I need to get done today. Alright, so let me get you up to speed with my to-do list for today, just for today. I have nine things to do, and um, I need to edit videos that go up this week. I already got a head start on them, but I need to finish them because I won't have time while I'm in Seattle. I need to respond to the graphic designer who is doing my logo. Um, I need to also work on, um, I'm debating actually between getting a website copy editor or not. So I'm going to check her out a little bit more. I need to um, check on an Etsy order that was placed and also do nails, hair, and pack my suitcase. So I'm going to get started on those things and might decide to stay home from work today. <laughs> so um let me get started because there's a lot i need to do and actually one thing is missing from here i actually have an interview today at 2 30 i believe so i gotta put that on the list too No more gray hairs in sight. I can look like the young person that I am. <laughs> and for all of us, our relationship is always um, safeguarded and filled with strength when it is on the foundation of Jesus Christ. You know, no matter how great your relationship is, I don't care how long you guys have been together, can I tell you, that relationship is dysfunctional if it's not on the foundation of Jesus because your relationship was created with the primary function of giving glory and honor to God. Okay, so I finished my hair and my interview starts in about eight or so minutes. I'm looking for my phone because I never know where my phone is. Never. <sighs> Okay, so I just found my phone and disconnected the internet because I thought they were doing a phone call and the internet has been acting up. Now she's like, oh, I just sent a Zoom invite. Hello, I'm leaving, I'm, I'm need like more than three minutes notice. Oh, these people, boy, I tell you, these jobs be on one. They be on one. Here I am connecting back up the internet. <laughs> Thanks, Shane. I have to be up line now as well. Okay, great. <coughs> yeah, I'm all, so the noise in the background at my house. 
Oh no, that's no problem. No worries. Um, Cindy, um, Marielle uh, interviewed Shana last week uh, and was really excited to talk to her um, and felt like it was it was a, a, a good enough candidate to move forward up to uh, you and I. Um, and since obviously you're more on the research side, um, I know I just sent it out today, but I didn't know if you had a chance to take a look at her resume. Um, and and uh, if you had some questions for her. Yeah, no, I apologize, you guys. I, I uh, <clears throat> have been out all last week, um, and so I'm, I'm a little buried in emails right now. Um, I know. So I'm sorry. I haven't, I'm, I'm trying to get caught up. Um, but you know what? If you wouldn't mind just kind of telling me a little bit about your background, I'm looking at your, at your CV right now. I've been in here editing videos, but now I'm about to head out to the living room and get some footage of Mike because he's about to join in on the call that he leads every week for the course that we both created about real estate wholesale investing. And so he has a few students that have on the call to ask questions about anything in the course as they're going on. So I'm about to go catch some footage of him doing that before I get back to my to-do list. Oh yeah, de no, definitely, definitely. It's the it's the oldest trick in the book for sure. Um, and even, you know, there there have been times where we did have a lead, someone purchased it, but we just kept it up on Facebook or Craigslist, right? So technically not a ghost lead or, you know, it was actually a real lead at one point, but why take it down, right? Because you're always, you always want to have a, a fish hook and multiple lines out there for other buyers. Because again, you have some buyers that are in the market for certain seasons, or maybe they have five or 10 projects going on and you could have a great deal, but they just can't buy that one. So you're always, always looking for uh, buyers. So we just ran into H&M before they close to grab myself some um, some pants to wear to my interview tomorrow. They highly encourage you to wear jeans or you know just be comfortable and at maximum wear business casual. So I want to fit in with the culture. So got some black jeans. <laughs> um, it's professional enough for me, but also comfortable enough. So. Um, Bay really wanted me to get some blue jeans, but it was looking a little too, too form-fitted, you know, for the girl. So, um, I went with the black. So now we're about to head back home and I gotta finish everything else on my to-do list. Now what I'm about to do is check on the logos that the graphic designer sent me and give him some feedback. Hopefully they come out better than last week. They look really good. So we're gonna go check on that. Okay. This is the logo came out with. Okay, so I'm actually really pleased with this logo, but I think I'm gonna run by the eBrand Club and see what they think. Bay says he likes it too, right, babe? Bay? I know he. <laughs> no, I'm listening. I'm listening to, to the call. 
Oh, that? you like the logo too, right? Yeah, I love it. It's mm -hmm. amazing. All right, so but I'm gonna run it by um, the E Brand Club just to get you know a third and fourth and fifth opinion um, about it before I approve the design. But I think it's looking pretty daggone good. Okay. I have most of the copy done for the website and the website designer told me that I just really need to have the home page copy down pat before um, moving forward um, and then we can fill in the other pages as we go and so I definitely do have the home page done it's kind of more so the other pages that aren't done um, and although I'm pretty content with what I have written I know that content and copywriting is super important for getting buy-in from your audience. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and spend a little money on working with a copy editor. And so there was this one woman that was recommended to a bunch of people in this other Facebook group, Facebook group them in. And so I contacted her yesterday and um, I think I'm gonna move forward with her. She says that she can work on it start next week which is a little late but what I'm gonna do is give the website designer what I already have written as a starting point because she's gonna be using that as a starting point and then whatever she improves upon then I'll send that to him with any changes so I'm gonna go ahead and pay for her services already like two o'clock in the morning I'm going to upload the video that I edited that way I don't have any issues with it publishing tomorrow so I'm gonna do that and then go night night wake up in a few mere hours okay so I'm on the road headed to the airport I thought I was running a little bit late but as usual I tend to build in time so that way I'm not running late so I'll get to the airport um, like hour 15 minutes before boarding and then um, my flight leaves at 10 40 I think it is something like that so yeah headed there driving to Atlanta we're slowing up high got no clue how do I know what I mean to you yeah Okay, so I've arrived and I'm about to head into the airport. Catch this flight. Please give our customers and crew. So before we depart, please pay attention to this important safety message. Be sure that all carrying items are securely stowed in an overhead bin and place smaller items, including handbags, under the seat.
is the room that they have me staying in. It's so nice. It has a balcony. I like to be treated well, you know? This is nice first impressions. This was my airport outfit. Looks like the regular outfits that I normally wear on a day to day. I have to go look at a um, a house at 4 p.m. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like, what do I want to do? I need to study. I need to go look at apartments. And I need to sleep. And I need to eat. So how should I fit all that stuff in? It has been a long day. Oh my gosh. So I spent five hours flying from Atlanta to Seattle. Got here. Checked into the hotel. Uploaded my YouTube video because I had to re-upload it. <sighs> YouTube sometimes. Anyway, I had to do that. And then I decided to go check out some apartments and homes just to see what's out there, just in case I end up moving out here. And I forgot to put the SIM card. Is it called a SIM card? memory card <laughs> whatever it's called in the osmo pocket so i did take a little bit of footage using my iphone of the home and the how many apartments did i go to i went to like three i think one two three i actually went to four i went to four apartments they are super duper tiny here in seattle and yeah I think I'm gonna have to go the house route because this place, these places are too small. Like I can't even distinguish the the massive bedrooms from the other bedrooms. But anyway, did that, then went to go eat at this fire restaurant. Oh my gosh, y'all. If you're ever in Seattle, you wanna check out um check out new N U E. Oh my gosh, the food was so good. I texted my boyfriend, I was like, I feel like I'm eating heaven. Like Oh, it was so good. I, and I didn't even want to eat it all at the restaurant. Have you ever just wanted to like keep keep half of your food so that you could eat it in private and really like taste it? Okay, maybe me. Maybe it's just me. But that's what I did because it was just so good. And I just needed to eat the rest in private and just mm, savor it. So I came back here and then got ready for my interview tomorrow um printed out my resume print out the nda and all the other paperwork that they asked me to bring along and set up my makeup and clothes and everything i cannot believe it is only 8 30 8 30 but i've been up since 6 15 east coast time and it is now 8 30 pacific standard time so your girl is tired so I am about to grab my laptop and lay down in the bed as I do some more studying for this interview tomorrow. The reason why I'm studying and been studying for the past few weeks is because they are serious, y'all. <laughs> I felt like I was being quizzed on the last interview. Like they came at me hard, asking me definitions. Pulling up my journal articles from 2017, asking me why I did certain things. So I've been studying because Homegirl asked me a definition. She wanted a textbook answer. And <laughs> I need to refresh because I have been out of school since 2017, been out of coursework since when? 2000. 15? Yes, yeah, since 2015. And you know, when you're working, you have your books, you have Google, you have all the resources available to you. But when I'm going to be sitting in an interview in front of five different people from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., there's not going to be any Google. There is not going to be any um, textbooks or resources for me to draw on. So I need to remember this stuff as if I'm being quizzed. Good morning. Today is the day. 
So I woke up a little early. And so I just started to get dressed and whatnot. I'm about to do my hair. I wanted to do my hair fresh. And so I'm about to get to that and then do my makeup and then probably go down and have breakfast before I head out to my interview. headed down to get breakfast and I'm read a little bit too while I'm down there. So this is what I have on. I have on a white sweater with some denim, black denim jeans, and my Rothy's. And I also have on my um, Tiffany earrings. And I'm about to have someone put on the bracelets for me. If you watch Vlogmas, you know how much trouble I went through to try and get these things clean. So I finally get to wear them. And I'm about to head out soon. Okay, so it is the next day and I was just too tired after the interview and actually having conversations with people about the interview and also helping someone like a student in undergrad who has an internship and was asking questions about can they negotiate their internship salary or compensation. So I had a lot afterwards that just drained me in addition to the interview. So I went to sleep, y'all. <laughs> So I'm about to head out from the hotel and check out and go to the Starbucks Reserve um, tasting room and check that out and get, grab a cup of coffee and then head to the airport. But before I do that, I want to check in with you and let you know how the interview went. So the interview went pretty well. I interviewed with five different people and it had lunch with a sixth person, which they say is not included in the evaluation of my interview but you never know uh, but that was really good um, they asked me typical behavioral questions they also asked me like you know some science questions which I expected and they asked me to solve a, a problem it was a hypothetical problem but actually a problem that they are working through and when I told the girl that I went to lunch with you know what my response was she was like oh that was an awesome answer and the hiring manager was really um you know he was really receptive at some points he was like finishing my responses and was like yeah like this is awesome <laughs> so he was you know i think really on board with me so they're going to get back to me within five days to let me know if i've been offered the position and so fingers crossed for that um if not i still have other opportunities um, that I'm exploring right now, like a work from home situation. They actually contacted me this morning asking me to do like a, an assessment, but I've already done two of those interviews and I know another job is checking my references currently. So, you know, there are some things in the works. Um, but I think this time around, I'm actually going to accept a job because I've recently turned down, um, well, you know, if you've been watching Vlogmas, you know, I turned down positions over the Christmas break. And then I even was offered a position last week, which I turned down. But I think I'm going to accept one of these three positions that I'm up for. But I'm about to, you know, pack up the rest of my things, like my laptop, 
and head out. I'm pretty much already packed. Got my suitcase ready to go. Got my bag. I just need to grab my laptop. So apparently this hotel comes with a car. So they put me in the car to go where I'm going. Thank <laughs> you.